Back now with Kevin's burn. Kevin has had a pretty good summer. We had a couple of horses we're hate waiting back for the fall with him. We got a couple of horses that uh, had a tough time getting in to go. We're going to figure out where we're going to race them. Let's start with Adrenaline Rush. Two for two in his last two in the grassroots and has looked very, very good. Bob McClure drove him with purpose last week. First over, jogged, and raced very, very good. He's going to be in to go this week, I assume. He's got a grassroots coming up, so he'll be in to go, I assume, at some point. Better so. What? Yeah, we're going down here and then... Uh, to yeah. the left? Yeah, go to the left. Uh, Better's Hope is turned out now. Um, going to give him some time off and bring him back. Brush Cut, we're just going to go easy with Brush Cut. He's not technically turned out, but he's just jogging and training the odd mile. We're going to kill some time with him until into the fall. I call, I talked to all our owners, all my partners on Brush Cut and said, listen, we know he has allergies. We know he's struggling in the summer. Why are we beating our heads against the wall trying to race this horse? Let's wait until he's good. Keep him fresh for the fall and winter, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, Broadway Roll didn't get in this time. I know Pete's sitting there probably spitting nails in uh, New York or Florida. I'm not sure where you are right now, Pete. But um, I hope Pete understands that the guy that's talking on the video is the vast majority owner of Broadway Roll. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to see her race also. But I know Kevin wants to keep her in a place where he can do some damage and try and win some races with her. I thought she was a mediocre third the other day and then also eligible in Clinton. So we got to find something. got to get her racing a little bit this fall. She's probably a filly where I'm not too concerned because I know in the fall uh, London will get cheap. I don't really want to race her straight through to next year, but we're going to do a little racing for Broadway Roll this fall and missing the odd week here and, and waiting until the horses slow down and some of the smaller, slower tracks start up, I think is probably the best idea also. So Broadway Roll is present. She is a present and accounted for, but not racing as of yet. Cruising his dog, a little quarter crack in his last start. We're going to give it, they gave him a week off. We're going to do some bat work on him. Race him back in another week. He'll train on Wednesday. I believe Kevin thinks he has a crack under control. No big deal. Uh, don't believe me. Just watch. Was absolutely fan. He's racing tonight, I think. Tonight or tomorrow? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow. But he raced absolutely incredible. His last start just jogged in 54. Only been off like 10 months. It was his first start back. So that's how ready Kevin McMaster has them when he brings him back to the track. So good for him. Miss Brampton Beast is back with Kevin now jogging. Another horse that we are getting ready for the fall. Had real trouble breathing in the heat of the summer. Need Your Opinion is another filly. Win in 52 and look great. But then they scoped her the other day. A little bit of mucus, a little bit of pimples back. This is a filly again. Uh, we didn't know what we were doing. Kevin was quite upfront with me. He says, yes, I'm taking her to Hanover. She did win in Hanover. I, you know, for some reason, he doesn't think she can get around Grand River good, but she likes Hanover. So Kevin believes that although it's not a perfect situation, had she done well in Mohawk, she likely wouldn't be there. She does need to be there. She'll be racing at Hanover in the grassroots her next start. Uh, Sunshine in May is still here. She's still kicking. Um, an okay little filly. Does she need to be part of the stable? Probably not. But for now, we'll keep racing her. Um, another filly, like similar to Broadway Roll, need to find a spot where you can race them on a regular basis that isn't a country mile away. And I think, you know, racing in London maybe this fall, we'll race them three or four times. And if we sell them, we sell them, we keep them, we keep them. But, um, you know, Sunshine May definitely a fourth liner. But at the same time, maybe do some damage this fall, who knows. Uh, Cirrus Blue Chip, similar but different. I think there's a lot more speed, raw speed there, but. I know Kevin was a little unhappy and displeased with his race the other day. Um, nothing confirmed what happened. I thought by talking to Travis and looking at the race, I thought maybe he shut his air off. But that was not confirmed for certain. So Kevin's going to turn the page, do some work on him, and have him ready to go this week. Time of Houdini's been great. Again, um, I know Ed had Ed actually asked me if, if he thought he'd be able to sell him in Europe. He may, want, he may be able to. Um, you know, here's a horse that can race with, no hobbles on him if he has to. And he's a stud. Probably makes somebody a good horse in Europe. And so I think, I don't know if we're there yet, but he's getting there to a point where, you know, you can maximize his classes here and at the same time interest a lot of people overseas. So that's an interesting angle. Um, I had reached out to a couple of, a couple of uh, brokers, but haven't heard back from either of them yet. Uh, where we was up is injured, unfortunately. He got injured in, a, in his uh, training trip leading up to his subsequent uh, grass, his last grassroots race. And he's gonna need a little work done, some, a lot of time off, and he'll come back for the spring. Uh, nothing he won't 
I, he's the type of horse where I'm certain he'll come back because he's just that type of horse. He's a worker. So where we was up, we'll make it back next year. Watch Avenue race great in his last start. He was three wide all the way to the quarter. It was third and 55, 54, 55. I thought he raced great. And Zeb Sunshine is also in tonight or tomorrow. He's what? Oh, that's right. That's right. So, uh, no. So Zeb Sunshine is in to go uh, today or tomorrow. I know some people said we're going to race him in a condition claimer. We're going to race him where he can do. So we'll see how he does this week. And I know he threw a clunker in last week, but for the most part, he's been good. So I'm going to talk to Kevin and see where he wants to race him in the coming weeks. I did forget about one horse that came back, who is now in the Kevin McMaster barn, and that is Brush Cut. No, they But But Brush Cut is, so I'm technically right. Even oh. though that wasn't what I was meaning to say, <laughs> Amy's right. It was Blue Monk. Blue Monk is now in uh, Kevin McMaster's barn. I told Mario Kevin needed, something, needed a horse down there, and the horse was coming back in. It was a good fit for both of them, so Blue Monk is now the newest member of the Kevin McMaster barn, and he'll begin jogging and training immediately. I'll be back in a minute. We just got one barn left, the hottest barn in Ohio. No, so, you don't do Johnny's horses. Oh, I never do Johnny's horses. No. So there's some floaters. Amy just made, made a point that there are horses in Shedro too, but we talk about them usually in the two-year-old section. Johnny doesn't really, it's a Johnny and James kind of overflow Shedro. Um, what would make, make you feel better if we talk? I talk about Nancy Ellison in the three year old section. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah. I'm sure you know. There's a yearling in there too. If they want to know. That's right. That's right. <laughs> there is a yearling in there now. Maybe She's we do have really to talk about Janet. Johnny's. I don't even remember her name. But her name is Mischievous Rose. Mischievous Rose, yeah. We'll be back in a second. Sorry. Chatty Amy. Throw me Where off. We'll be back up here. We'll be back in a second with Jason's part. Maybe we'll make a new Shedro up for you.